what's up guys? Today we're building an LED trampoline. This is a really fun project that lights up when you jump on it. And in this video, we're gonna show you how you can build your own. So I got this cheap $20 trampoline from my local Walmart, which is a supermarket here in the States. I started by removing the protective padding so that I could measure the framing and figure out how to fit the strip of LEDs. It also has detachable legs which makes it easy to work with and this allows you to store it away. I use digital calipers to measure the thickness of the framing. My plan is to design and 3D print some clips that'll hook onto the framing. This way we can hang the LED strip along the edge. This trampoline is about 36 inches in diameter which is fairly large so I used a 3 meter long LED strip to wrap around the whole framing. NeoPixel LED strips come in these plastic reels and you can get them in different lengths and densities. For this project, I'm using the low density strips, which has a total of 90 RGB LEDs. The Adafruit Itsy Bitsy is a small microcontroller that can run CircuitPython. It has lots of pins for connecting sensors and components. Adafruit has lots of sample code, which is great for folks that are interested in getting started with electronics. And with CircuitPython, the board works a lot like a USB drive, making it really easy to upload code. Katni Rembor wrote some awesome NeoPixel animations for this project. She wrote it in CircuitPython and made the fade animation to allow interrupts. We put together a prototype of the circuit on a breadboard and tested different vibration sensors to trigger the LEDs. Inside a vibration sensor is a spring coiled around a long metal pin that makes contact whenever it's shaken, moved, or hit. We also have a push button that'll toggle the different modes. I designed an enclosure in Autodesk Fusion 360 to house the electronics. I modeled a 1 to 1 scale of the trampoline to get an idea of how many clips I'll need to 3D print. The Itsy Bitsy is press fitted into the case and a button allows you to cycle between the different animations. The case and cover just snap fit together. This clip attaches to the back of the case and it lets you snap it onto one of the legs of the trampoline. This way we won't need any additional hardware or screws. These other clips will allow me to hang the LED strip onto the frame of the trampoline. The LED strips look the best when they're facing the inside of the trampoline. They can be threaded through the elastic bands and strung along the framing. I needed to make sure that the clips aren't covering the pixels, so I adjusted the strips so that the clips are fitted in between the LEDs. I cut the strips into two halves just to make the assembly easier, but also because we're working around hardware limitations. The NeoPixel strips come with a protective silicone sheathing that make it a bit difficult to install. I found it easier to just push the strip through and guide the end slowly inching it along the frame. Once I had it in place, I clipped the hooks onto the frame and fitted them over the LED strip. I soldered these connectors to the strips to make it easier to disconnect the board if I ever need to update the code. The project enclosure just snaps onto one of the legs and it can be adjusted for the wiring. It's nice to be able to just plug these in but also disconnect them. I needed to embed the vibration sensor somewhere on the trampoline, so I found the best spot for it was inside one of the elastic straps. This way it'll get triggered whenever someone jumps anywhere on the bed of the trampoline. I tested it by patting on the bed away from the sensor and this way I can see if there's any dead spots. I originally had it inside the case, but I found it a little bit difficult to trigger. I think this will also work if you attach it to maybe the framing or one of the legs. Either way, the real test is jumping on the thing and just seeing what works and what doesn't. My nephew had so much fun playing with this project. I mean, he spent like an hour on this thing. I'm using one of those big USB rechargeable battery banks, which should last several hours. These trampolines are meant for exercising and I gotta say jumping on this thing for just a few minutes feels like a workout. So it's perfect for trying out the kids. Just be sure to supervise them. So it ended up working really well and it looks amazing at night, especially around a fire pit with a fog machine. This project was a lot of fun to work on and I really hope this inspires you to make something light up. I think this circuit and code could be used to make all sorts of different projects. So if you're interested in building your own, check out our tutorial on the Adafruit Learning System. Remember, the links are in the description. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit. Oh, and I almost forgot it also works as a landing pad for drones. Okay, bye.